Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Thank you for watching and are listening. A lot of people, we, we, we understand that some people can't actually draw in the picture, but they get the words. Well, the picture is not the important thing. The words are important because they will definitely transform your life. Because our words are not about this, this life and this man. Our words are about his life and him. He will bring life to you no matter where you are, no matter what country you're in, and no matter what oppression may be around you, God will let you walk in His liberty and His victory. Today I want to talk to you about redeemed lips. And here's my statement. Redeemed lips offer continual praise. Redeemed lips. Uh, the, the scripture is real, real plain. It says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you really want to know what's in your heart, listen to your mouth. And you know what? It's not going to encourage you to listen to your mouth because so many times our mouth says the wrong things because that's where our heart is that day. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. But when we become redeemed in our heart, then the next thing we do is we start working on the redemption of our lips. And one of the great ways to do that is to continually offer praise. Now, praise is different from worship. Praise is actually acknowledging the things that God has done. Like if I were praising Him, I would praise Him for creating the world because that's a thing He did. If I was worshiping Him, I would come in adoration to who He is, the Almighty the everlasting, the all-seeing, the all-knowing, the all-providing wonder God. That's Worship is admiring Him for who He is. Praise is acknowledging the things He's done. Now Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 says that we go outside the camps and we are praising Him continually with the fruit of our lips. I want to tell you about praise. What Praise is so wonderful because I start praising God and it helps me to refocus my past. I don't know about you, but I, don't, I really don't want today to come here and sit before you and talk to you about my past life, my before Christ life. I don't want to do that. Well, pray, if, I, if I'm not careful, I'll start thinking back in those, those areas and I'll get really ashamed of some of the things I did. But when I'm praising God, I'm, I'm refocusing my past. Oh, I acknowledge I did them. I did some of that stuff. But that's covered by the blood of the redemptive Christ. You see, praise is an antidote for anxiety. When I start really getting anxious, what am I going to do? I'm an old man. I've lived over seven decades on this, this earth. And the scripture says that, you know, we're promised 70 years. Well, I'm already over that. So I've already, I mean, living in abundance now. But I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Well, when I start praising God, it becomes an antidote for my anxiety. And I start realizing it doesn't matter what I do. It's what he does. It's what he's done. It's what he is doing. And so the fruit of your lips, praising God continually. Offering up that praise to him. Well, have a wonderful day today. Until we meet again, God bless you.